The blowing of glass into molds probably dates from the early first century AD. Here the mold is metal. Originally they were probably terracotta. A bubble has been lowered into the mold, blown hard, and the mold pieces removed to allow the glass to be removed. Two handles are added. An initial contact is made. The glass is cut free of its gathering iron. A second contact is made and the excess glass cast free. The handles are flat and the mass of glass is slightly flattened just before adding. Casting off is a clever way of avoiding shear marks on handles. All Roman vessels that have handles have cast off marks. After annealing, a scratch is made with a diamond tool where the rim is intended to be. The glass is mounted on a turntable and a fresh gather of glass is made from the furnace. A thread of hot glass is slowly drawn, gently touching the side of the vessel where the scratch was made. The surface of the glass heats, the scratch propagates a crack, and the excess glass, the overblow, is removed. The edge is exceedingly sharp and has to be smoothed with a piece of stone. Cracking off is a quick and easy way to form a rim.